It begins. This could legitimately be one of the first teasers for a Zombies Chronicles 2 coming directly from a voice actor that dubs the voice of Misty. What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and history always repeats itself and right now I'm reminiscing on the events that unfolded back when the first Zombies Chronicles was getting leaked for Black Ops 3 and some of the voice actors that dubbed the voice of Nikolai and Richthofen had publicly come out and stated that they had recorded lines as of recent. Recently. They had to do with space monkeys, cosmonauts, gravity, temples, all types of things that perfectly fit the bill for faithful remasters of some classic Black Ops 1 maps. So that happened, and as of a couple of days ago, this happened as well. A nice person out there by the name of Shino reached out to me and told me that he would try to contact several voice actors that dubbed the voices of the Victus crew in different languages to see what they had to say, and he did get a response from somebody who does dub the voice of Misty. Her name is Annalise Sanchez and he asked her some of the following questions and got a couple of responses. So he asked her if she recorded anything for Misty apart from Tag Their Toe In and she then said, I do not know what you are talking about with the monkey emoji. So at first you're like, oh, well, she's teasing something. But I think realistically, she was confused about his question for whatever reason. So he then clarified and said, well, he's asking her about Call of Duty Zombies. And the translation is a little weird here. So keep that in mind but she responded and said ah the last thing that came out if misty had an appearance so i think she was trying to see if he was asking well did you do work for misty in tag their toe in you know the very last map that came out recently and then he responded with yes the map with a lot of snow did you record anything apart from that she responded we don't know until it comes out so that's really interesting because i almost feel like when they had people come in to record lines for the victus crew before tag their toe in came out they might have had plans ready for a Zombies Chronicles 2 and would have them sit there that day to record lines for whatever the work was because there's also a slim chance that out of nowhere Victus maps come out in Black Ops 4 but maybe they're faithful remasters of the originals and not the heavy remakes that we were expecting even though reliable inside sources have been saying that the maps are heavy remakes with lots of changes fixing everything that was wrong with the original versions of those maps so that's what we should be expecting but with recent rumors that Activision might be considering putting Zombies Chronicles 2 into Black Ops 3 instead. We all know that Black Ops 3 doesn't have any hardcore heavy remakes like Black Ops 4 has. Black Ops 3 instead has faithful remasters of the originals. So for all we know, they could just bring faithful remasters of the originals into Black Ops 3. Maybe they had voice actors come in to dub the voices of Victus, maybe re-recording some old lines for whatever the case might have been, and then they can go from there. But this is still really interesting information. Again, I always bring you guys all the information I see in here online to make sure you guys are kept up to date with the latest information about Zombies Chronicles 2 DLC 5. Also as a reminder be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to make sure you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest Black Ops 4 Year 2 and DLC 5 information. Over 70% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed so let's go ahead and change that real quick. Now I also wanted to go over how this did happen before. As I mentioned earlier there were voice actors that dubbed the lines of various Ultimus characters that actually accidentally spoiled that they were re-recording some lines in 2017. So with that being said, that was obviously a big hint towards Zombies Chronicles, which featured, you know, faithful remasters of Ascension, Shangri-La, Moon, and those are the lines they were really talking about when they made those statements about space monkeys, temples, gravity, the moon, which is really damn exciting to know about. So keep this in mind, right? Voice actors that are in foreign countries that dub the lines of some of our favorite characters accidentally slip up sometimes and might say a few things they probably shouldn't so anytime you see something like this always keep in mind that this literally happened with the first zombies chronicles now shino told me that we would keep in touch and he would try reaching out to other voice actors to see what they have to say so i'll definitely have an update or a follow-up video to this one in case any other voice actors respond with something interesting so be on the lookout for that but i also wanted to remind you guys that something similar to this actually happened recently i think it actually was the same voice actor that slipped up about the first 
first Zombies Chronicles a couple years ago slipped up again recently when he revealed that, you know, he's doing the voice of Nikolai for a new zombie map and he's guiding a new crew. So when we first heard that, this is before we knew that Tagger Toten would feature Victus as the main playable crew. When we first heard that, I'm like, hmm, is he hinting at potential lines for DLC 5 where maybe Nikolai is going to guide Victus on a new mission in those heavy remakes? But little did we know he was actually referring to Nikolai guiding Victus via the intercoms on Tagger Toten and how that main quest will later play out. So that's exactly what he was referring to, but at the time, we just didn't know Victus was the main playable crew. So I had a theory video that went up because I knew for a fact based on my reliable sources that Call of the Dead was going to be DLC 4, but I just didn't know what crew we would be playing as. Nobody really knew that information, and if we had to guess, we would say it's probably going to be Primus and Ultimus, a mix of the two or just one or the other, and then in DLC 5, we'll be able to play as Victus once again. But once the map came out and we realized he was actually referring to Tag their Toe in, people in that community, I believe it was the Brazilian or Portuguese community, I can't remember exactly which part of the community it was, they instantly started bashing me because apparently that voice actor that dubs the lines for Nikolai got in trouble for what he said because he did accidentally spoil a minor detail about Tag their Toe in. Now, I don't find it to be that big of a deal, but he probably broke NDA when he mentioned that, and he mentioned this in an interview with a YouTuber by the name of DGN, I believe. He did an interview with this voice actor that dubs Nikolai, and he's been dubbing Nikolai for years. He dubbed him for the first time in his Chronicles, probably even before that, and he asked him some questions, and that's accidentally what he said. So, the person apparently got in trouble, but wasn't fired completely. He probably just got a written warning, or got suspended for whatever reason, so... I don't know exactly what the consequences were to him accidentally saying that, but all of a sudden this one faction of the community started bashing me and saying that my video actually got the guy in trouble, but I'm like, wait a second, DGN, who's part of your community and speaks your language, interviewed the guy and got that answer out of him, so how did I get him in trouble? And first of all, it's not anybody's fault if the voice actor chooses or accidentally breaks their NDA, and I'm not even blaming DGN for this, he asked him a question that wasn't really asking for spoilers, but that's what the voice actor said and that's what came about it but my video had nothing to do with that guy getting in trouble and I sort of brought this up I think in a couple tweets or maybe uh, you know towards the end of another video I made shortly after that and the thing is right I report on the news I'm just the messenger I wasn't the one that even got that answer out of him because I can understand if you're like oh well you're the one to ask him the question about it so you made him break NDA and nobody could force anybody to say anything but you know at the, at the end of the day I was reporting on what was heard and I actually had DGN's video on my computer, I watched the whole thing, tried to make out the most I possibly could out of it, and I even translated most of the words, which was actually accurate, but all of a sudden, there was a bunch of hate I was getting for probably a week or so, and then it stopped, but the truth is, again, voice actors slip up all the damn time, and it literally just happened recently, so don't be shocked if it happens at some point in the next couple of weeks with voice actors that dub the lines of Victus, and that's assuming that Victus will be the playable crews in these heavy remakes. I hope they are, but I was just talking about this with my buddy Skype the other day and even my buddy Nirko, we can all agree that isn't it weird that once DLC 5 comes out and if Victus is the playable crew, that means there are more maps in Black Ops 4 that you can play as the Victus crew on instead of Primus and Ultimus. It's just, it's mind-boggling to think about and if you also go even further in this, right, Victus almost appears in every map in Black Ops 4 Zombies, at least for the Ether story, or they at least have a presence of some sort with, you know, some Broken Arrow lore or some other radios, like, they're literally literally almost on every single map and theoretically we could say yeah the character models are on blood of the dead there's a stoolinger radio on classified there's a rustman radio in alpha omega plus the avogadro some other victus assets and then they're obviously the playable crew and tag then you get three more maps where you can play as them that actually outweighs primus and ultimus right primus got blood ultimus got classified both of them had alpha so that's what two maps each not including the fact that you can hear their voices within tag their toe but then looking at Victus, you would have four maps where you can play as the Victus crew if you could play as them on all three DLC5 remakes, right? You have them in Tag, Transit, Diaries, and Barry, not including their small cameo appearances via radios and voices in Blood, Classified, and Alpha Omega. So that's pretty mind-boggling in my opinion, but my original theory before it was revealed that you'd play as Victus and Tag their toe in was that you would play as Primus and Ultimus on Tag their toe in. Something goes wrong during the Easter egg, Victus comes into 
help towards the end and then boom you go out with a bang and then maybe dlc5 would be some type of filler or gap in between alpha omega and tag Tritone, where victus goes to transit diaries and barry turns on the polarization towers or does something completely separate then comes to help at the end of tag but looking at the plan they ended up going with that kind of throws that entire theory off so i was really hoping that you would play as primus or ultimus and tag your toe in and then you would get three maps with victus and dlc5 so that there's a really even balance of three maps featuring primus three featuring ultimus and then three featuring victus perfectly balanced as all things should be right but that's probably not going to happen anymore and when dlc5 comes out if you play as victus on all three maps there's going to be this really weird system going on where you play more as victus in black ops 4 than primus or ultimus but at the end of the day i think that's almost okay because ultimus got the entire spotlight in black ops 1 uh primus got the entire spotlight in black ops 3 so why not give victus more spotlight in black ops 4 but that is about it this has been dk dynamite check all links down below in the description what do you guys think about the voice actress that dubs the lines for misty is she hinting at something more are there more maps coming featuring the victus crew or will we play as some blank cdc and cia members in the zombies chronicles 2 maps also i reminiscing on the fact that when the first chronicles was getting leaked we had voice actors doing similar things by slipping up and revealing lines they were recording which they probably shouldn't have done let me know down below and peace out everyone <laughs>